What the administration has proposed is modest. 10,000. Too modest as far as I'm concerned. I believe we should be prepared to accept 100,000. Democrat Senator Dick Durbin calling for the Obama administration to increase the number of Syrian refugees allowed into our country. With Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth, back with you now on Newsmax Prime. Yeah, the administration has already initiated efforts to accept at least 10,000 refugees by next fiscal year. But can the U.S. really sustain more refugees? And what impact will it have on all of us here? Uh, for more on this, let's welcome in the executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies, Mark Krikorian. He is Skyping in from Washington, D.C. Mark, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Glad to be here. Now, Mark, we would be remiss if we did not note what happened earlier today, specifically chaos along the Hungary-Serbian border, Hungarian troops using tear gas and water cannons on refugees from the Middle East trying to cross into Hungary. What's your reaction to what's happening in Europe? Well, you know, this is a, a crisis of their own creation. Once uh, Germany said that pretty much anybody who can get here will welcome and will put them on welfare and all the rest of it. That was just an invitation to millions and frankly hundreds of millions of people abroad to try to make it to Germany and to Northern Europe, whether they go across the Mediterranean, whether they sneak through Turkey. Turkey actually kind of looks the other way and waves them through and then they have to make it through and that's what you're seeing in Hungary. Hungary is kind of you know, it's like somebody in the middle of a crowd and there's a mob of people ready to run over them on the way to get somewhere else. And Hungary's trying to avoid being run over. That's what you're seeing there. And, you know, um, they've created this situation. They've made their bed and now they're, you know, in Europe, now they're sleeping. Mark, I want to go back to what's going on over here in the U.S. How concerned are you about the 10,000 being allowed back into the U.S. that are, you know, that the president is wanting to be allowed back into the U.S.? Well, refugee resettlement, in other words, you bring refugees to a distant country here or other places, should be the extreme last resort only available to a handful of people. And that's not the way we've run our refugee policy for years. And it's just not, and the, the Syrian issue is even more serious. Now, Refugees from anywhere shouldn't generally be resettled because the point of refugee resettlement is to care for people in a dignified way near their homes so when the war is over, they can go back. That's number one. Number two, it's extremely expensive. Uh, there was a study out of Europe that showed one, the cost of one refugee in Europe, the, the, the support and all the rest of it for them from taxpayer money, would support 25 people in the Middle East. Money isn't infinite. You should be using it where it does the most good. And then third, with regard to Syrians in particular, there is no way, and I mean literally, not in the Joe Biden sense of literally, but really literally, no way to screen terrorists out. We have no idea and have no way of finding out who these people are. Who are we gonna call? the Damascus Police Department and ask about somebody's background? Look, the Tsarnaya brothers, the Boston Marathon bombers, not only were they screened as refugees, and it's the same process we would be applying to the Syrians, but when they were here, the FBI actually went and investigated them, interviewed their friends and relatives, and still didn't know they were terrorists. So essentially it's guaranteed that even this small flow the president is proposing, let alone Dick Durbin's or others' bigger numbers, will admit significant numbers of ISIS and Al-Qaeda into the United States. And Mark, and then, that, that, is, that is chilling when we stop and think about it. We have about a minute and a half remaining. And of course, we take a look at what's happening with the continued influx of illegals across our southern border. How on earth could the U.S. even accommodate, say, 10,000 more from the Middle East? Well, I mean, you know, we're a big country. That's not the issue. In other words, this question is not whether there'll be somewhere to put them. Sure, they'll spread them around the country. They'll send them to Sioux City, Iowa, and other places. The question is, how are we going to pay for it? Is it an efficient use of money? No. And is it safe? That's the key thing. Look, we looked at, the, we all saw the picture of that poor kid who had drowned on the beach in Turkey. Well, what are we going to say to an American mom and dad 
of a kid who's killed by an ISIS terrorist who's let, let in as a refugee. U.S. government's job is to serve the interests of the American people first, and letting in hundreds of thousands of Middle Eastern refugees does not serve Americans' interests. Mark Krikorian, Executive Director of the Center for Immigration Studies, Skyping in from Washington. Mark, we thank you for your perspective. Now, we heard from Mark. Time to hear from you at home. We'd like to know, do you agree with what Mark had to say? What course of action should we follow? Here's the way we find out what's on your mind and the way you see it. It's for you to write us at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. There's more to come right here on Newsmax Prime, so please stay tuned.